Hello guys, welcome back. What I am planning, as I said before, I will be creating the documentation part of Langchain videos as well as some use cases, right? The first use case is the PDF summarizer. What I will be doing here is first explain you what are the different pieces you need to know before doing the summarizing part. And in the first, I will show you how you can do the summarization with a uh, simple line of Python code, as you can see here. And if you are a UI person, I will also demonstrate you how you can do the same thing with the help of GradeU. So two different pieces together. Let's get started. Let's go through the code. First thing, first we need to install the packages, right? In the first line, I have already installed this GradeU, OpenAI, PyPDF, TikToken, and Langchain. If you want to know more about this, I have provided the link here. You can go into that. So I have already run this. So and then you need to also have the OpenAI API key. It's always the same thing, right? We are using OpenAI, meaning that we need to have the API key. So you can go to this link and get the API key and just replace this string here. Just to give you the high level idea of what tick token is, because that is the tokenizer of OpenAI. Let's import the tick token, right? Here I'm creating a function where it is taking a string and we give the encoding name. Here I'm passing the encoding tiktoker.get encodings from the encoding name, meaning that I'm passing something. Here you can see I'm passing this base model and there is, there is the string what I want to have the tokens. Encoding that encode string and the number of tokens is the length. It's a, just a simple function. What happens if I run this? Because machines only read numbers, right? If we pass tiktoker is great, what it is doing is converting that into the tokens and how many tokens are there there are six tokens that is how the tick token works behind the scene if you want to know more information here is the link again go there and enjoy now let's go and import all the necessary classes here i'm importing radio langchain import open ai and prompt template and all the other different things like a load summarize chain that is the main function that is doing the magic for us and that lang chain document loaders and we are using the pi pdf loader i have explained all the things here just to give you again the high level idea i have already downloaded this gpt for all technical report you can just run this command here wget it will download it and once it is downloaded you can see over here right then what you can do is just click here and the copy the path and you can just pass it here. Let me just run this and show you what it is doing. Here I'm loading like there is a loader, pi PDF loader and I'm passing the file, right? And and then there is the doc, which is loader.load and split. We need to actually split and make into different chunks. And then here you see that it is divided into three different uh, chunks. And this is the first chunk and you can see it is extracting the information from that particular PDF file. Okay, so this is just a small function now here. You see I'm providing date summarize PDF and I'm passing the PDF file path. There is a loader as I said by PDF loader it takes that path. There is the docs which splits that particular loader. There is the chain now. The load summarize chain which takes the LLM model and then chain type. There are actually three different chain types in Langchain. You can go through the documentation. I will actually create the in-depth documentation later in the series of Langchain. But we just use the map reduce. And here there is the summary chain dot run. You run on top of that docs and it will just return you the summary. Let's run this shell. And as I said, I already downloaded this particular PDF file. And here is the summarize and summarize PDF, the same function that we just wrote here. And then we pass the file path. And if I run this shell, it will go through the documents of that particular PDF, all the chunks, right? And then it will summarize for us. That is that simple. You see here, while this line of code is doing all the parts here, other, yeah, of course, there is the chunk load and split part, but this is the thing that is doing all the uh, things here. As you can see, the summarized part, this paper presents GPT for all, a chatbot train on a large accurate data set of assistant interactions and so on. That's all if you, if you are okay with this. 
But if you are a UI person, I have now implemented the same thing with the help of Gradio. How it works is this is the same function as we just wrote here, right? Now what we do is we initialize the Gradio part. Here is the input PDF path. That is we take the Gradio and the components and we take the text box. And here we say provide the PDF file path. And there is the output summary we says gradio.components there are actually different components in gradio it's really good if you don't know what gradio is as i said i have provided the link on the top of this notebook and this notebook will be in my github repo so feel free to use that notebook and here i'm passing label as summary how it works i create an interface and gr gradio dot interface and what we pass here it takes the function as the argument here and then there is the inputs, there is the outputs, we give the title, we give the description and dot launch. Why I am passing the share equals to true? Because if I pass the share equals to true, it will provide me the shareable link. If I run this, you will get the idea. So that I can share with other colleagues and they can also run this in their computer. Yeah, this is the simple interface. Here we can just pass the path of the file. Right. If I go here, I can just copy the path and if I just pass it here and if I submit this, it is going to do the same thing that we did here. But now it is in the simple, it looks better. Now it is doing the summarization part and yeah, it summarizes here. That's all. That's that simple. Either way you want to go with the UI part or with just the normal summarize function. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it and I will be creating more huge cases of Langchain in my upcoming videos. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.